Hi, Stephen Caleb here with Brownells with a special holiday video for you. Today we're going to go over some gift ideas under $100, under $200, and over $200. Caleb, you down with that? Sounds like a plan. All right, let's get started. Let's look at some gifts for under $100. You want to go first or shall I? I'll, I'll start it off. All right. I'll start off with my lowest price point here, but probably one of the most important. That's going to be the Rand CLP. Now this easily falls into my top three uh, favorite gun oils. And I've been using this one for quite some time and uh, it does especially well with the uh, with corrosive ammunition guns and things like that. Um, all around it's just a good protectant and oil. What does it do that uh, the others don't do? It's a little bit thicker in consistency than a lot of the other oils and I like that because it stays in place oh, a lot Oh, so it doesn't drip off when you put the gun up in the rack. Exactly. Nice. All right. Um, I got something kind of a low price point here. The Metgar magazines for the Browning High Power. I actually use these. Got a high power here. That's all I use in this gun. And that's because they are ultra reliable. The price is right. And Metgar is the same people that make the uh, OEM magazines for Browning. So you can't beat that. This is a nice little gift idea, a little stocking stuffer. Doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Makes you look good. That's all I use in my high power as well. Nice. Excellent magazine. All right. All right, I will go again, and here I have the B5 Sot Mod stock. This is my favorite AR stock um, on the market, hands down, um, because it looks good on pretty much just about any AR configuration, um, and it has that nice wide area for a cheek weld. It, it just really fits me well, and um, also a nice rubberized butt pad. I uh, can't beat it. it. Looks very simple, very minimalist. Exactly. That's all it is. Nice. Nice. Speaking of uh, furniture, these Hogue wooden grips, the checkered grips, I put these on a lot of my Smith & Wesson revolvers. I just love the way these things look and the way they feel. They've got the finger grooves, they've got an aggressive checkering pattern here, and they've got some really nice wood that's hand selected, nice dark mineral streaks through it. I've got, uh, like I said, a few pairs of these. I really like them and I highly recommend them if you're into revolvers. And they make them for other revolvers too, but they go on Smiths for me. Excellent. Well, I'll go into our first tool here. Um, so this is the AR extension torque tool. Oh yeah. Um, it's excellent for me. I like to do a lot of stuff with billet receivers and you know, you can't use the clamshell tool right. with the billet receivers. Uh, so this is my go-to from there. Uh, it's simple, fits into the chamber, um, has a driver on the back for your torque wrench, and it's pretty straightforward from there, but it's it's essential for me. Nice. Very nice. Uh, what do I got? Left? Oh, yeah. Reloading dies from Hornady. Uh, Hornady really upped their game in the last five, ten years or so on reloading uh, accessories and equipment, and I found that the Hornady dies are a very good value. They're very nicely machined. They're very smooth inside. I use them for both rifle and pistol a lot. And uh, they go really well in my lock and load press too. They're specifically engineered for it. Plenty of threads to get you down where you need to go to meet that shell plate. So for what they cost, the Hornady's are a very excellent value. Let's see what we have between $100 and $200 here in the store. Caleb, what do you got? Well, I actually have another AR stock. Now this is the Magpul UBR Gen 2. Uh, the unique thing about this one though is that it's the A5 length. So if you're familiar with the Voltor um, A5 length buffer system, this is a stock that's specifically for that. And it's something I kind of been wanting to get into and try out a bit. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to use this one for. I'm going to ease into it with that. Nice, nice. Um, under 200 I've got a little upgrade here for the 1911 guy and that is the cylinder and slide drop-in trigger kit. You get a hammer, sear, disconnector, sear spring, and mainspring. And this is pretty much a drop-in trigger job. When you put this into your 1911, it's going to have a nice, light, crisp trigger. I've used a lot of these kits. They've always done very, very well for me. So I can't recommend this highly enough. I'm a big supporter and user of this, this product here. Really a nice kit. Yep. Done quite a few of those as well. That's, that's an excellent kit. So moving on from there, Still in the theme of the AR-15, I have here the BRN Proto upper receiver. Now I've been wanting to get into some retro projects, uh -huh. 
and I think this here is going to be the perfect starting point for that. Ah, it comes with the charging handle. It does. It comes with the charging handle. And all the other internals and everything's the basic AR-15 components. Okay, and then it uses A1 uh, sight components? Correct, yep. The, okay. the, the A1 carry handle sight components. Okay. Um, so it's like that XM-177 copy I built. Just plug that in and go. Exactly, that's exactly it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do something retro or do a modern take on it yet. Um, but this is the good starting point. I'll go from there. It sure is, and it's a pretty much a Brownells exclusive. It is. Yep, only place to get Can't it. Can't get it anywhere else. That's a good choice. Yep, thank you. Here is the standard by which all others are judged, the Sinclair case trimmer. And this has the micrometer head on it, so you can dial down to the last little thousandth or even half thousandth and get your brass right where you want it. This uses the shell holders that act like the rifle's chamber to keep everything concentric. So when this cutter, and this cutter's turned around here for storage, it would be facing the other way. But when you're cutting that case, it is dead on as if it were in the uh, chamber of the rifle. Really nice, it's got this tapping area here. You tap your case when you're done trimming to get the shavings out. And back here, you've got storage for all your different shell holders. Really a nice setup on the deluxe trimmer. Very, very nice. You ever use one of these? I have not, but I have a feeling I'm going to be borrowing that one from you once I get a few rounds to be some Lapua brass oh, yeah. here. I've been getting into doing some Lapua builds, doing a, uh, a Savage action with the International Barrel and 6.5 Creedmoor. So I'm going to need to start loading and, and tuning that, and uh, I think this will be a good starting point for that. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with Lapua brass. Yep, not at all. Stuff lasts forever, and most of it does not require neck turning or uniforming. It's just ready to go right out of the box. That it is. I look forward to using it. So, good choice. Yep, thank good you. Choice. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Here's our deluxe Brownell screwdriver set. If you get this set, you can pretty much take apart 90% of the guns out there. Um, it lacks the extra thin bit sets, which are an option. You can add that on later. So if you're using, uh, doing a lot of European guns, you'll find some of these bits are a little thick. But uh, I got by with less than this for many years as a professional gunsmith. And this is the Deluxe set. I really like it. It's got the law enforcement handle. It's got the, the shorter handle with the short shank. And this gets you closer to your work, which I like. I don't like that big, long. Some people prefer the big, long handle. I like the short shank, so I'm right up against it, I'm not skidding around, putting marks on the gun or anything. It gives me a lot more control. Plus it comes, excuse me, plus it comes with the stubby handle as well. Really nice. Yeah, that's a great kid. That was actually my first gunsmith screwdriver set. I made a, made a lot of money with that set, made a good living, so it's it's definitely a throwback for me. Right, plus it's guaranteed for life. Those, those bits are guaranteed, so if you break one, send it back, we'll send you a new one, no charge. Hard to go wrong. Now, that covers did that we get all of them? That was it. That's in, in that category. That okay. was it. Now we're going to make the leap. We're going to go over $200. What do you got, man? All right. Moving up from there. My last AR component is going to be the Elfman Match Grade Trigger. Now, I have this trigger already in their service variant. And I'll say I've, I've been using it for close to five years now, whenever they were relatively new to the market. And it's an excellent trigger. They have, uh, they use a sealed aircraft grade bearing around their uh, their hammer, oh. and it makes it really smooth, a really low resistance, so they can get away with a pretty light hammer spring on that, and that affects their trigger pull a lot as well. And it's adjustable; you can adjust the weight on it. And uh, it also, what they were one of the first people to really do is put a uh, a drop safety in it. So if for whatever reason any component in it were to fail and that hammer came forward, it would catch on that drop safety. Um, so if you you like redundancies in your safety components, this is definitely the one to get. Uh, very good trigger. I look forward to playing with this one a bit. That's a nicely designed trigger. I like that. I, did, I wasn't aware it had the bearing built into it. It does. It's really, really cool, wow. innovative design. Okay. This is something I've used and owned. It is a Glock 34 slide by Brownells with the window. Now this is available with or without an RMR cut. I've uh, got the one without. Let's see, I've got a Glock right here with it installed. And it is a nice 
See, this has got the RMR cut with the Brownells cover in there. And it really gives you that long slide feel, a little weight forward. We offer plenty of barrels if you want to do your own build that way, or if you want to just replace the slide on your existing 34 with something cut for optics, you can easily do that. But it's a nice slide, nitrided, beautifully machined, goes right on and works from day one. Never had a problem with one. So, nice, nice piece of equipment. Next up for me, this is the Tommy Built T36. Now it's modeled after the HK G36. Uh, this is the, the compact variant. And this has kind of always been one of those rifles for me that, um, well, this one's in the, the pistol variation right now, um, but I plan on SBRing and stocking this one. Uh, but this has always been one that I've seen in movies and things like that, and I've just always thought that it looked cool. So um, it's it's always been on my list, and now that, that Tommy Bilt's making them, it's it's uh, pretty easy to get a hold of, so I'm jumping on that opportunity. That'd be an easy one to turn into an SBR, for sure. Yep, absolutely, that's the plan, and I look forward to hitting the range with this one. Huh, and that comes with any accessories? It comes with a pretty cool uh, Tommy Bilt carry case that they, they yeah. have with it, and then it also comes with uh, one magazine. Um, it takes the G36 specific magazines. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. have to get a few more of those, but... Uh, Magpul makes those, don't they? Magpul does make them for, 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 this, uh, for the G36 series, and, nice. and that's the ones that come with it, and uh, probably some of the more reliable ones on the market, so I look, look forward to that as well. All right. All right. Next up, here's the fun factor here. Here's the tactical solution. 22 conversion kit for the Glock. This particular one is a full-size Glock, and what you get is you get a slide and a magazine. They've changed their packaging just a little bit, but that's what it's going to look like. And here's what it looks like on the actual gun. I've got one here. This is an older version. But this is what I've got on my gun, and this makes it very easy to practice with your Glock without spending a whole lot of money. Um, 22 long rifle, as long as you use high speed 22 long rifle, you know, the full, full strength stuff. These things are nice and reliable, and they'll go on. This particular one goes on the Glock 17 or the full size, a Glock uh, 22, for example. And it fits generations one through four. And I understand the shorter slide, the, the 19 will fit on one through five, is that correct? I believe it will. Um, haven't tried it out yet, but because they changed that locking geometry of that, the bottom lug on the Gen 5 barrels, the, uh, the 17's kind of mimic the 19, so yeah. the 17 Gen 5 is pretty unique uh, as far as slides and things like that go, barrels. But the 19 should fit. I'd, I'd be interested yeah. to try that one. Yeah. But it will fit one through four for sure, we know that. So very nice addition to your battery, low, uh, low cost practice, you go through thousands of rounds a year with one of these. So if you're a Glock owner, this is a really nice accessory to have and you're probably surprised that it doesn't cost more. If I woke up tomorrow morning with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. I see. Okay, um, what's your next item? I saved the best for last. Okay. Oh, yeah. You may remember, so this has been discontinued for a while, but now it's back. And I am taking this chance to snag one. The Sig Sauer P210. I have shot these new SIGs, and they are really, really nice. Yes, a well-built, very smooth, amazing handgun. Um, this one here is not the target variant. They have this one, the standard, and then the target variant. I kind of lean it towards just the standard for now. Um, I may be crazy enough to just use this as my personal carry gun. Um, I know it's an excellent range gun, single stack magazine, but it's, it's just so smooth and it, it, it has that, that classic look to it that I, I just it can't is, get over. It is very confidence inspiring, I'll give it that, it's a pretty good sized gun. Absolutely. Very steady, I've, like I said I've shot them and I, they make me look like I'm a good shooter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and. Just good weight to it, feels great in the hand, just everything about this gun is just, it's, it's amazing to me and I can't wait to get, get to the range with it. Nice, nice. And my last pick is a firearm also. And 
You guys that have seen me before knew that you weren't going to get out of this without seeing at least one Smith & Wesson revolver. And today we're looking at the Model 25. 45 long Colt, end frame, got the nice wooden grips on it, target hammer, target trigger, six inch barrel. These guns shoot lights out. They are really well engineered. I know it's got the lock on there and it's not all that traditional, it's got MIM parts, but these guns are tougher than the original Model 25s are, or were. They're every bit as well finished, at least this particular specimen is, is beautiful in every respect. And I'm just happy that Smith & Wesson is continuing that classic line because uh, I've got the 686, I've got uh, the 25, I've got the 29, oh, excuse me, I got the 586. Actually, I got two 586s. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't buy another one, but Anyway, I can't recommend this highly enough. If you've never owned a 45 Long Colt, this is the one to get. This gun will make you look good. And it, uh, it'll last you a lifetime. The way it's built with the heat treating and everything, Smith & Wesson turns out a great product these days. They really do. If you like their old guns, the old pinned and recessed guns, you'll like the new ones if you're, if you're in it for a shooter. That's all I got, man. That's it, and it's the holidays, perfect excuse for a new wheel gun. You can't have too many. Exactly. Well, apparently I don't have too many, because there's always room for one more. Always. Well, that was fun. It was. And if you need any tips or advice on what to get for the holiday season, we have plenty on our list, and we'll be happy to help you out with yours. Yep. We carry over 150,000 different items, so there's got to be something there you're going to like. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next year.